I'm Georgie Robbins and I'm here today to talk to Edgar Phillips. Now some of you may be aware that over the last few weeks Edgar's been working really hard to turn himself into Hamlet. So I thought I'd ask him a few questions about how he became an artist, how he became an actor and learn more about him rather than Hamlet. Hello, Edgar. Hello, Georgie. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I am good. Yeah, yeah. You've uh, been to the gym this morning. I have indeed. Another, another, uh, another couple of pounds off. So we're slowly melting. What's your goal at the end? How much do you want to lose? Oh, um, I, I was just shy of 18 stone, uh, which is ridiculous. And uh, I, um, I guess my fighting weight's about 13 stone. So. Uh, that's my goal, really. 70 pounds, that is. That's quite a lot of weight. It's like that's a third it. person. Um, sort of, a, well, maybe you're for me. Um, How many pugs? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20, 20 pounds is a pug. <laughs> um, or a tyre. Um, so, yeah, three and a half pugs. It would be. <laughs> now, you're having to delve quite deep into yourself for something like this, because you really have to immerse yourself into what you're doing. So what... What is pushing you to keep going right now? Because you've had some hard points. You've you've had to battle through some your asthma and yeah. problems like that. So yeah. Um, what keeps me going? Uh, I well, I took up acting. Uh, I wanted to um, to walk. We should walk with uh, uh, Hamlet is always something I wanted to play, and. I usually change shape and change character. I went to uh, uh, Lee Strasberg with um, was taught by Don Fellows. Uh, I didn't get into acting until later on, but um, when I when I knew I was going to play Hamlet, uh, I thought I'm going to give this my best shot. So so there is a there is a kind of I will not fail at this. I want to be the best Hamlet I can possibly be, which will then kick on into the other areas of my acting. And Hamlet is such a big, it's like the kind of, it's, it's the Everest really of, of characters. Um, so I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to pay lip service to it. I never, I never do, but you know, I, by being fit and healthy, you're, you're in, more in tune with your instrument. You know, I, I, I keep myself very open emotionally uh, to the point of ridiculous. That's uh, my son's always saying. You cry at everything, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, and it's uh, method it's, acting. It's true. That, that's yeah. That's, the thing is about method. It, it's uh, there's a kind of lot of mythology about it. It's like, but when you actually do it, it's it's just like being given a bag of keys and just uh, and, and each one helps. You know, there's not one key to to acting. If someone says there is, they're full of shit. Um, so you're back. So I probably will swear. By the way, so I'm very sorry. Add beeps, add your own beeps. Um, I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so, so the, to answer your question, uh, fear keeps me going, fear of failure, and it's quite interesting. There's also something inbuilt that I'm working on in myself, which is more fear of success, I think, and uh, you know, I'm fairly successful in my. Um, stained glass world and sculpture world that's you know that's been apparent but there's something about uh, being that you know that unfortunately the industry of acting is based on <laughs> you know, looking good and looks uh, there was an interesting interview recently about um, uh, ha how much percentage goes into acting ability when someone is casting something uh, and uh, the casting director it, it was something like seven percent if you walk into an audition and you are the person they have in their mind because everyone's got these preformed ideas of what people yeah. are you know we all have we're all informed by our own lives so th that's the main thing get into those auditions get there and one day you will be that person it's very hard not to take objection personally we all do that we all we all in all, all our lives but you have to kind of it's very it's a, it's a fine balance uh, acting between um, not acting, but uh, you, you know, standing up and being an actor, because you have to, you have to develop a very thick skin. Well, you're putting yourself out there for people. Yeah, to... but everyone's doing that in their lives when they go for jobs and they go for job interviews. Everyone gets rejection, but also you have to, you can build a thick skin, but also you have to remain sensitive. 
So you you improve as an actor. You know, you have to you, you have to be in touch with your emotions. So where did acting begin for you? Because you said you started as late. Mm. You came to acting late. So yes. No, don't put the wings in. <laughs> As you can. Uh, but uh, I, I will answer. Right. So I suppose at home, you know, I'm one of six children uh, in in what was an extremely. Uh, uh, I could say volatile, changeable, but ev ev the, the house was full of characters. Uh, and we always had, uh, we, you know, it, it, within our own family, we four sisters and a brother. But also, um, we, we'd have people coming to stay. All was really interesting. People always coming in and out of the house. So uh, to be noticed, oh, I just found making people laugh. I was, now, you know, I was child number four, and by then, you know, you're lucky to get away now. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so to make your kind of mark. So I started mucking around and that, that actually wasn't, uh, that wasn't brilliant for me at school uh, because I, you know, became a kind of class joker, school joker. And um, my dad was very sort of, let's say, not encouraging about teaching and just, uh, which is a shame. I'm, I'm actually changed it for my own son. He's doing very well. Um, uh, so I, that, 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 I guess that's where it started. But I wasn't sorry, I'm going to go to stage school. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't like that at all. Um, I started stained glass when I was 11, so that was a kind of then. So I was, I was, you know, always kind of, you know, larger than life and creative person. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and but it wasn't until I, I, so when I was 19, uh, I was just about to go off to art school. But I'd already done my apprenticeship in stained glass, you know, and, and I was. I, I went there and just thought, oh, this is pointless. So I decided to go to Africa instead for eight months. And then for Africa, seven... Africa, art school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I started with the A's. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, I went, I just went self on my own. And it was like, uh, I traveled for eight months from Morocco to Zimbabwe through 16 countries. Extraordinary experience. Got home, I was home for like less than three months. Made a couple of stained glass windows and buggered off again to yeah, like India, Australia, South America, and, and, and I just yeah, so seven years of my twenties, I was traveling the world, and I was in El Salvador, and uh, there was just this big, uh, like big crowd and a group of clowns, uh, and, and they were, you know, just doing, doing clown things, <laughs> and they kind of waved me over. I was all sort of like long hair and woo. And uh, long got hair. Lot of very long hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's and it, earrings, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, sp sp spending time taking lots of different cactus. Altered states were really my, you know, that's what I was doing a lot of uh, intriguing things in Central and South America. Um, and, and, and suddenly I was drawn into this world where there was all, all these just all these faces watching me and I just kind of went Here and I they, am. All, they all started laughing uh, yeah. and then uh, and whatever I did got a reaction and, uh, so like, and they said oh come back later on yeah and I was like oh whatever came back later on and the whole bloody town was there I mean it was ridiculous and, so, and they were doing a much bigger show so they dressed me up and then I just thought right I'm gonna I'm just gonna and I felt completely free and I started mucking around and it was insane. And I just realized I can take, I, I, I can entertain. That's what, that's, that's it. Yeah. You could walk into a room and change the room. Yeah, yeah but it did. that was something I could do, but I didn't know that it was something I could actually do as a, you, you know, not just down the pub or something like that. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a, so, uh, it's more than a hobby. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I was like, I know what I want to do. Like literally at that moment, and I went on another trip to India, just for, and I was listening to some like this group of people going on about like reclaiming the sea because like you know the man had got the land, and I was just like fuck off. I went back to England and signed up with uh, the Lee Strasberg Institute. Uh, I spent two years um, training, 
uh, with Andy Lucas, uh, Marianna Hill, but the main person was Don Fellows, and he kind of changed my changed my the structure of my head into. And he taught some people found it difficult because what he because he, they wanted kind of action, they wanted yeah. to have. But actually, his teaching method was uh, to explain by example, and in fact, that that then is literally how you take a life experience and and you know it's all very well saying the lines but you like you use that life experience and the emotion from that and you blend that so he took with, it to the bare bones it wasn't just a case of throwing you in there and back it was a, oh no, it no, was, no, it was, it was the, there was definitely a long-term instruction and, and after i'd finished there he then directed me in a we, we won an award for it at uh, riverside in uh, in london uh for a one act play that my sister wrote and we, we, we edited it down to an hour uh, and uh, went to this competition and smashed it, yeah, it was, uh, and he, he, he taught me through that and mentored me and it was heartbreaking actually because um, when I went to, um, I, when I, I moved down to Somerset and I got the, uh, I went into an audition uh, over at Street Theatre at Strode uh, and uh, I got the the lead, yeah, uh, of um, uh, McMurphy in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You know, you know a lo lovely part. And a lot of my life has been about. You know, I've spent a lot of time in Oregon, uh, and so I know that whole world and that setup. And that, uh, so that it was kind of ideal for me. Um, and I uh, had said I'm going to contact Don, and I've been busy with my family down here, and he died. And it was just like. The, it was just awful. It was just like, no, no, because I really wanted him yeah. to know I've, I've got this part in it. And that, that was, um, that was, uh, that was quite hard. That was, yeah. But he, I, you know, I love that man. You know, he, he gave me so much. Uh, I know his daughter, you know, we were sort of friends, and, uh, you know. Uh, so it was more than just teaching acting. It was. It, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it was, it, it, yeah, but very much so. And. You know, because I was, I was, so I was 27 when I went to acting school, and so the, you know that. Yeah, I know how that how, feels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, I guess I had an older, well, I'd, and I've done all my travels as well, so I was, yeah, quite, I was quite, quite, yeah. So it was a matter of just really getting that, and putting it into, you know, sh shaping it, and just understanding, yeah, just the sort of. Uh, to quote Uta Hagen's book, the respect for acting, you know, that, that you know, and it does require that, you know, there's, uh, I love acting, there's, there's a place on stage where, what is it about acting? It's freedom, it's, it, and, and, and what, well, first and foremost, without an audience, you're nothing, so the entertainment side is, is totally there. Can you say that about that? I don't know. Yes, I suppose I did. But art's more. You mean like the sculpture and stained glass? And yeah, when I make something like that, I, I, I always feel like it's more like you know, I was here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That 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 you know, and you are expecting stuff, but it's also like, look, I put my hand on the cave wall and do some muddy paint. Yeah, that 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 that. The, but but the acting. Is so it's the theatre especially it, 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 it's 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 there and it's gone it's uh, but it's this is something from Don and he used to say it's like people date their lives by a show and he got a bollocking I think it was from Peter Fonda actually in the play where he was ro rocking up late and just doing his part and he said look people date their lives by a show and he passed that on to me um, and and it's true when you go to a, a you know a musical you go to the theatre you. you Oh, you know, you know. It's just, we had that big round. It was just after that time when we went yeah. to see Hairspray, yeah, and uh, and we went to London. And, and, and that's the thing. Um, when you go, you don't really do that about other. You don't go. Oh, you know, when we went to see Harry Potter, or we went to see, you know, Jumanji. You know, <laughs> that, that just the yeah, cinema yeah. kind of bled. But theatre has this impact. And for, uh, what do I love? For me personally, so I love the entertainment side. But there's a, there's, there's this space where you're, it's a, it, this is a, another point in this, so bear, you have to bear with me if I go off, but that's why I, I don't really like drinking when I'm 
uh, alcohol yeah. when I'm preparing or acting. Uh, you have a great big party at the end, I remember. Um, I find that it's very, it's turgid. It's got, you, you, instead of the, like, you got to really claw at the lines and the feelings. Whereas there's a place on stage where you just, it's just a flow. And it's just so organic and beautiful. That it, 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 and, and it's not like, oh look, everything's under control. Because it's not. You're kind of relying on somebody else. You're kind of relying on yourself. And they're relying on Adrenaline kicks in. There's adrenaline, but the adrenaline goes. The adrenaline just gets you on the stage. Yeah. Yet then after that, the adrenaline, that's not, you, your first night is great. That's why people say, oh, the second night's rubber. Because the first night you just did shitting yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second night, you're like, oh, well, we did that. And, but um, there's a point, there is a moment where you're sort of, I can only describe it, it's like a golden flow over my head where you're just in it you're completely the character that you've spent the time researching and building up and someone gets lost or you get lost and you're like wow this is the, yeah and you have actually the audience is on your side you have all the time in the world but a sec it's like time travel a second it's like a year you can watch buses go through, you know, tumbleweeds go, and you're like, oh, and it's like it's like, it's like being in a vortex. It, it, it's, it's like it's just stepping out into space, or and I love that moment. And then you're like, well, I've got to do something. So you, the first thing you do, give yourself a physical life. You know, that's to do something, move. Don't just stand and go. Well, you say something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, and and then, then and then. So that's that's a good moment, and then it comes back. Or you watch someone get, and sometimes you're so there and so in it, you can see it all before it happens, and you see someone, you see just tiny little looks in their face. Yeah, they're gonna fuck, fuck right now, and, and and they do, and you're like, oh shit, and then someone else has got, and, and then you just say the thing that works, and you just go, I can I can get you all out. All out of this, and when someone does it to you, it's like I love him. Oh, no, yeah, I love <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Thank you. you are my and, and those moments, yeah, those you know, that, those moments when you're, um, it, 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 it's 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 beyond fear. It's something. It's some other. There's, some other, there's not a name. Something there's not a name for it. The Germans have probably got a name for it. They've got a name for everything. It'll <laughs> be something that neither of us can pronounce. So that's why I love theatre. And I, it's temporary. I, I love the see. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get onto death. <laughs> but, but life, like it's. I love the temporary nature of theatre. Um, and you, you, know, you go and see a play, give it six months, see it again, you'll see a completely different play. Yeah, you, yeah. they say you different. Yeah, it is, it is different audiences, different. You know, so and where you're where you're at. Yeah, that's that's something Andy Lucas taught me. Um, he, he was a more very a more dynamic teacher um, and he just said you know you, you, your your life could, you, you'll turn up and you just go hey yeah life's brilliant and I'm acting tonight and, and, that, and things were going on in my life when Murphy was on so my life was upside down and I was like how in God's name am I gonna be that yeah but there are things you can do there are there, there are thoughts you can have and you can uh, and, and, and you don't just go through the motions, but you, it, it, it takes you away, it takes you away, it takes you outside of all the rubbish going on in your life. So it puts you in somewhere else, into a different character. Yes, but it, yes, you're into a different character, but it's still you, it's your version of that character. That's why people say, oh, have you seen his hat? Did you see his hat? Did you yeah. see that? And you see his that's something Carrie taught me, actually. She said, it's, it's, yeah, you, you can build a great character and watch you do it. You, you know, you, and she said, but what they want is you. And if you've got it and you've got it, you've got it in space, then it's going to work. So, yeah, that was, yeah. So, that was nice feedback to have, for sure. Imagine. Yeah. So, Hamlet is the debut production from... Well, That's correct. Yes. A company that you set up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, well, so Wells, uh, well, all around Wells Street and uh, you know all the Glastonbury. There's there's lots of amateur um, companies, and it always. I, I moved to Wells ten years ago, and I was always surprised that it didn't have its own professional theatre. So my, <sighs> I, I, I got artist in residence. I became artist in residence at the Bishop's Palace, and I've watched a few outdoor. Uh, 
um, productions here. Uh, but no one was doing a promenade production where you walk from scene to scene using the backdrops and space, the, the spaces. And yeah. I used to go up to um, uh, Lancaster uh, and watch uh, Duke's Theatre and, and they do this uh, fantastic promenade productions all round, um, oh, I can't remember what it's in, one of the parks there, anyway, well worth going at any point. Um, so, so I used to go up there and, and it's, it's my favourite form of theatre, so I thought, oh, I'll approach the palace and then say, right, let's do a production. Uh, re, you know, Hamlet is something I've always wanted to, I thought, right, if we're going to do a, uh, we're going to have to set our stall out here, because we haven't got loads of finance, we haven't yeah. got, it's just like, right, we're going in. So I spoke to Neil Harriant, uh, who is the director, who I'd worked with in a few different plays, and um, we said, right, let's do it. So I approached the palace, and they said we could have three nights, and uh, it, you know, uh, it, 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 it begun. It, 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 and to the point that it began, rather than begun, <laughs> it, it, uh, it, yeah. And then, <laughs> the other day, I had this moment like. What have I done? <laughs> oh my God! And it's like, okay, I'm going to probably. It's like, yeah, 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 and it's like that. Uh, uh, quote, fear, quote, carry right? again. It's like that. Uh, yeah, you, you feel the fear and do it anyway. And and you know, even if you're scared all through it, just do it. Yeah, you know, it's okay. It's okay, and it's okay to fuck up. It's okay to fail. It's okay for it not to work. And people will go, <laughs> but not that many people do that. It, you think they're going to. It's a, it, so, it's a, yeah, and that's part. part I, I, you know, I've set, I've set off on art projects, and just go. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? You know, it, but you, you got to try it. The wings were a huge success. You know, they've changed my life in many ways. Yet, while I was making those, people are like, "What are you doing? That's really art. You know, why are you doing that? You, know, you don't do. The, people don't want, want you to change, because they love you." You know, they love you where you are and you're reliable. And if you do something else, you might be, you might go away from them or you might leave that. And so they want you just like that, yeah. held in that moment of time. So they react, but actually the reaction is, it, it's okay. you've got to accept it as a reaction and then it's all right, it carries on. Because when you do change, it's still there. And you're and, doing uh, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's another story. Yes, it is indeed. <laughs> now, the process, to become Hamlet started about four weeks ago now. Well, a lot longer. A lot longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 yeah. Oh, do you mean the physical? The physical. Yeah, the yeah. Physical. it's five weeks now, isn't it? So, it, it, um, that, that, yeah, we just had our fifth way in. So, so you may have seen a few of the uh, uh, moments of uh, joy. <laughs> moments of joy. <laughs> the, is five, what we've had. the five AMs. Say, uh, on the elliptical, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's in nice. The gym in the dark. <laughs> Twenty. What have I lost now? Twenty-four 20, pounds. Yeah. Twenty-four and a half pounds, which is great. But that's just one tiny part of. Well, it's not tiny. It's it, it's hard. It's, and I'm not getting the. You know, I like food. I love food. I eat emotionally. I eat just because I breathe. I eat and drink because uh, you know. You I like burn. I like going to the pub and having a laugh and you know all those things. A calorific, <laughs> Cal calorific, yeah. and and it. So, and you know, I'm. Look, I started this late. I, I still want my acting career to be something that pays for my life. I yeah. do, I do, because I don't see why. There's nothing in me that thinks that. Oh, I'm not good enough. Or I'm not. I know I can do it. There's not a doubt in my mind. And it's been proven that I can do it. So, and I enjoy, I enjoy it. So, why not keep pursuing it? And I'll just keep pursuing it, whether it happens or not. And when you say, you know, people say, "Oh, what have you been in?" And it's just like, you, you just, you kind of go, "Well, yeah, I've been in loads of plays, but you don't go to the theatre." And you, what you're asking me is like, "Why haven't I seen you in anything?" And it's yeah. quite an awkward question. And the thing is to do is say, "Well, I'm just trying." It's like someone would say. You know, um, you don't go to a doctor. It's like, oh, well, you know, whose life have you saved today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it, 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 it's. Uh, you just got to persevere. Well, you just keep going, and uh, yeah, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and and you do get lost. And the thing is, if you, uh, you know, I'm hedonistic. I'm a party animal, and that's probably not helped. You know, if I said, right, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to follow this, and I'm going to do that. Uh, because because I've got my you know I've got my family and I've got my sort of a huge group of friends all over the world and it, you know from all my travels and 
you know, I get distracted. <laughs> but but something like something like this focuses me. It focuses all my energy. Um, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> I, no I was just asking about the, the last few weeks when you really... Yeah, well, okay, so you asked me about the prep, so, so, so yes, so the weight loss is going well, and as you well know, uh, Georgie is my sometime spotter at the gym. <laughs> I'm not very good. <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> she holds on to the bar the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and like to the point where I'm lifting her arms as well. In fact, you did drop it once. So <laughs> yeah. You're like, Hello. And, yeah, I did a oh. test, and she totally missed it. <laughs> yeah. So if you do see me with a flattened Thor, actually know what's happened. That that would be my fault. <laughs> Definitely my fault. I'll be doing silent movies from then on. <laughs> well, that's a new that needs to come back, doesn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can bring that. Back. Yeah, yeah, silent yeah. Hand. Exactly. Yeah. And <laughs> I. <laughs> Everyone does that. It's so funny. Everyone, I act. <laughs> it's just like, but that's what I do. And suddenly it's like, Listen to me. But that's what happens. Like the first time you go to sort of theatre school, you start. To... <laughs> Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Um, it's, it's very nice actually. Uh, the Wells Academy of Theatrical Arts. Um, uh, I, I did a couple of years with them. I, I, I'm still sort of involved with them. Uh, and um, they, uh, I, so I got to I got to write a play for the kids there, and then teach them for a year, and that was fantastic. And I was, I was able to impart some of the stuff that Don told me to a sort of another generation. Um, and I, you know, it's, it's lovely seeing them that connection. I like that. And that's something about Wells Theatre Company that there's this huge talent pool in Somerset, and I want to do productions where. Um, you know, where we give kids, because a lot of kids go off to a stage school and come back and it sort of fades away and they're like, oh, I wish I carried that over to. And, uh, you know, a lot of it's getting, you know, a professional credit. So if I can bring them into Royal Theatre Company, they get that professional credit and it just helps. Yeah. You know, everyone that. makes up their CV anyway. <laughs> you know, oh, yes, I've been in doctors. I've been in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it'd be nice for them actually to write something true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're under the tarpaulin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Now, what we all want is your version of You Can't Stop the Beat. No, we've done that already. <laughs> no, your version is the best version. Yeah, but that's that's like, you know, that's another... Um... So tell everyone, <laughs> <laughs> tell everyone where they can see Hamlet this summer. Oh, oh yes. Well, if you come to the Bishop's Palace, which is this marvellous, look at this, look at this marvellous place. <laughs> we will be walking. Promenade, you, 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 what's beautiful, where we, so you'll come along, you'll bring your picnic blankets, your, your low-backed camping chairs, um, there'll be a barbecue, there'll be a bar, uh, which is very important, um, and uh, you, you will, there'll be 200 of you each night, uh, the nights being the 29th and the 30th of June at 7pm, and we have a uh, final performance on the 2nd of July. Uh, and we will take you, we will turn the Bishop's Palace into Elsinore, where you will meet uh, Hamlet and his dysfunctional family. Shakespeare's cousin. <laughs> 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 uh, there will be, um, yeah, so, so the, first, the first act, as it were, will run for about an hour. The uh, thing about outdoor theatre is, you, you, you know, we, we, have, we can't run it for three hours, 15. It's just not... It, it's too hard on the audience, so we, we've we've stripped it back to the you know uh, it's still a very very intense it's it kind of more intense actually. Um, the, the, so we we've, we've first act will be about an hour. You'll walk around with us through the different scenes, and we we're outside at first, and we end up in the Undercroft, which is a very spectacular, uh, moody um, moody space. Uh, and then uh, we have a half hour break where you can enjoy the barbecue etc and then we we set up uh, just over there in front of you you'll set up all your seats and uh, there and you'll sit and watch the second half we'll, we'll perform it all in front of you in front of the Romeo and Juliet steps and it's it's got it's gorgeous setting so um, in fact, we we kind of have to battle against that <laughs> in terms of you know people. Yeah, will you be have like, to oh. pay attention to yeah. the play. <laughs> it's like we're 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 acting. Yeah. <laughs> we're acting over here, um, 
Did I say everything about that? You did. Uh, we did. will be performing in all but the worst of weathers. I.e., you, you know, unless we're all going to get struck by lightning, oh, bring your umbrella. Yeah. yeah. And you can get the tickets on the Bishop's Palace website. Which is www.bishopspalace.org. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, if you're watching this, <laughs> if you're watching this and you live in Wells or nearby, we still have four. This is part of our community spirited, um, uh, you know, approach to it. We still have four parts left to cast. So uh, uh, there will be uh, uh, auditions um, on Wednesday the 19th at 7.30 p.m. at the venue, uh, which is on... South Street. That's yeah. not Bishop's Palace, the venue. It's the venue. You'll find us in the Skittle Alley. And uh, come along and see if you can... Well, we'll... we'll We'll see if we can fit you in. Uh, yeah. I think that's everything. Is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. So. Yeah. Thank, thank you, very, you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. That was wonderful. Thank I, you very I enjoyed much. that. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.